What up, Warriors? When are you guys going to be tired of letting your people down? How many times are you guys going to fucking keep on doing the same thing? Same old fucking song, same old fucking, you know, routine every weekend, you know, the same pattern. Fuck, man, just pleasure chasing, destroying your life. When are you going to be tired? Are you going to wait till you hit rock bottom till something happens, something tragic happens for you to uh, move? Man, stop fucking letting your people down. A lot of people, they just can't find the way because uh, their selfish desires. That's the only way you can move ahead. You know, like I said, I had to learn the hard way. You know, at a certain point, you will get sick and tired, but most of you guys won't have a second chance. You guys will fucking take it to the extreme where you guys will get cracked, busted, you know, get into a fight get into an accident. I've seen it all, man. A lot of sad stories. And uh, most people are not even uh, able to change uh, for the better because they don't have a second chance. They'll either, they'll either get washed up, they'll get busted, they'll get, uh, fuck, they'll get hurt, they'll get injured. You know, a tragic accident. Stop fucking uh, risking it, you know. Stop, you know, you don't have that much fucking time in this fucking life to be playing around and shit, you know. Trying to run on luck. You know, there is no such thing as luck, man. You're fucking asking for it. A lot of you guys, you know, fuck, you guys don't know what you guys are asking for, man. Like I said, I've seen a lot, you know, throughout my years, and I kind of fucking uh, got sick of the way I was acting. People ask me, man, when did you change? What made you change? And I keep saying it over and over. When I'm uh, on Zoom calls with my clients, and they ask me, you know, we go into a personal, uh, personal problems, you know, personal issues that we have because uh, we all go through it. You know, we all fucking... Uh, you don't have the same pain we experience uh you know same uh you know same situations at times so we're able to relate we're able to connect we're not going to be here to make all the mistakes so when you share you know what happened to you how you overcame it you know what was the cause that you know you know you know made you change what happened that made you change and it's it's good to share because a lot of times it you know it's it it wakes you up you know, instead of you uh, actually uh, experiencing the rude awakening, you know, by hearing somebody else's fucking story, you know, sometimes that's a wake up call. Sometimes that's like, a, you know, a sign, you know, that uh, you got to fucking really fucking think about what you're doing. And uh, most of all, man, you know, shut up, man, you, your, your family, your kids, your wife, your mom, your dad, your, you know, your friends, you know, your people that care about you, those are the ones that are suffering the most. You know, but you're so cloudy, you're so lost and that you don't see that, you know, you're so selfish that you think that it's all about you. Uh, they shouldn't worry about it. You know, they and then the times that they don't worry about or well, they don't worry about it or they don't call you. There you over there fucking saying nobody loves you. Uh, nobody cares about you. So you're just so, so much into yourself, man. At a certain point, a lot of people, they just seek uh, too much attention, you know, because uh they tell you over and over again, they baby you, they pamper you, they cuddle you, they tell you what you want to hear. And that all that shit is that that's fuel to the fire, man. You guys get more pumped up. You guys get more, you know, in your uh, in your high horse. And uh, it, that's not how you guys are going to change. Let me tell you that. So you got to actually realize in uh, what you're doing to your family, how much you're hurting your family and uh, all the promises that you're breaking. You know, like I said, you know. Throughout my years, you know, that was one of my defaults. You know, I used to, uh, you know, break a lot of promises that I say. It's easy for you to say uh, that you're going to do something and then break it the next day like if it, it ain't nothing, like it doesn't mean nothing. And you're breaking that promise to your kids. You're breaking that promise to your to uh, your wife. So actually, it becomes a fucking pattern. It becomes a pattern. And to a certain point, they don't believe you. To a certain point, they're just... They know you're full of shit, man, that you're fucking just talk. They're actually tolerating you instead of celebrating you. They just tolerate. They put up with your bullshit. You know, they don't want to hurt your feelings no more because you get all butt hurt, all sentimental. You know, you get uh, bent out of shape. You get pissed off, you know, because they tell you the truth. So they rather just, you know, give you your way, you know, give you your way. But deep down inside, they're sick and tired of that. You know, so when when you finally realize, which I came to realize you know, when I finally woke up and seen what I was doing to my kids, always uh, telling them, oh, we're going to do this. You know, uh, we're going to go here. But since I was so fucking like hungover, fucking sick, you know, tired from drinking too much, from pleasure chasing, you know, uh, the day before, I couldn't even get up. 
I didn't even remember what I promised. I didn't even remember what I said, but they remember, you know, they just know that you let them down again. They just know that you were another motherfucker that's just talking and uh, doesn't follow through. So you create that. And uh, it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna take some work for you to earn that trust again. That's why a lot of these individuals, a lot of people, a lot of my uh, team members also, when they start their journey, a lot of times they ain't trusted. A lot of times they get a lot of, uh, you know, backlash with their significant other. Uh, they they hear it, you know, they, you know, they start, you know, bitching and complaining that, you know, they're not riding with them. You know, their ladies are giving them a hard time. And it's, there's a reason why. It just doesn't happen. Most of the time you gotta stop playing the victim. You know, there is no victim. There's no such thing as victimizing because, uh, it all happened for a reason and that is something that you actually uh you know you caused it you know if you really sit and think a lot of times we got to go back and reflect and think of why you know we're here uh dealing with this fucking problem now that you created so a lot of times it's just earning that trust again earning you know you uh earning you uh upholding your word and then believing you you know, that's what it is. A lot of times they don't believe you anymore. No so now that you want to change, now that you want to, you know, see uh, a better life, a lot of times they don't trust you. They're still fucking sketchy. They're still uh, not really in, in, in this belief or, you know, they don't they don't trust that you're going to do it, that you're just going to spend money foolishly and just another your uh, of your little uh, hypes, your motivation, you're feeling motivated right now. So you're trying to try something new. But they see you that you're always quitting. You know, I like I said, I was the worst one. You know, I, you know, that was my most fucking uh, problem that I had where every year I said I was going to do something. I was going to, you know, get into, a, you know, better health, change my habits, drop the drinking, drop all the bullshit. And uh, at a certain point, you just uh, break those promises. You know, so stop breaking promises. You know, stop fucking promising shit that you can't fucking keep and and uphold you know so a lot of times it's going to be working on yourself and fucking staying quiet and putting the work till you actually uh pull it off man because too much talking not enough action all that that you're doing right there is the you know you're losing a lot of trust a lot of trust and a lot of people they're just sick and tired of that you know including your loved ones including your closest ones to you so you know there's going to come a point where you're going to you want to change and that's when you're going to have to work at it twice as hard because uh, they're going to come and give you the worst, uh, the worst, uh, uh, the worst time because uh, they just they ain't going to believe in you. You know, you got to earn it. And sometimes you got to suck it up. You got to, you know, swallow that pride and uh, buckle down and just, you know, hear all their fucking uh, negative uh, comments because that's what they're going to do. They're going to be uh, real negative, rude, uh, because they just they don't believe you, but actually you caused that. So you gotta just take it in and uh, run it in like a champ, you know, like sack up. And like I said, you know, there is no fucking quitting now because once you fucking said you're gonna do something, you know, the only way to start earning that trust and the only way to get your people to actually, you know, uh, be able to fucking uh, trust you again and uh, ride with you is when you start seeing the result. And I'm a proven example that it could be done. At a certain point, it's going to take some time. I don't know how long it's going to take, but uh, eventually our goal is to flip them. And like I said, now I'm, fuck, man, I'm blessed because uh, I was able to flip them. Uh, I'm able to, uh, you know, gain that trust and uh, earn that uh, respect that probably my kids didn't even have for me before. You know, so get that through your head. Make sure that, you know, you keep the promises that you're uh, telling your loved ones that you're going to fucking uphold. Run it.